Head away, loose. More than 25 years ago, the city council allocated a block of land in downtown Naperville to celebrate the city's 150th birthday with a river walk. Past Councilman Don Worley was one of the many volunteers to help pave the walkway. Laid a lot of brick and had fun doing it, and other people came to help. And once you see other people working, other people join in. Worley's son, Councilman Grant Worley, remembers one morning in the 80s. My dad woke me up on a Saturday and said, come on, it's time to go to work. Well, I thought he meant yard work or something like that. Little did I know, we came down here to phase one to put bricks in on the river walk. 28 years later and half a mile west, Grandpa Don, Grant, and his sons Jake and Luke are keeping the family tradition of laying bricks on the Riverwalk. It's three generations of us that have laid bricks. Pavers being used on the west end of the Riverwalk are the same ones volunteers used over 25 years ago. Riverwalk commissioners say they chose to do that to keep the spirit of volunteerism in Naperville alive. Look at that, just like it was made for. A young landscape designer at the time, Naperville Riverwalk Commissioner Rick Hitchcock lent his resources for the walkway's conception. He says without the people of Naperville, there wouldn't be a Riverwalk. It was created uh, by the generous contribution of uh, thousands of dollars from volunteers in the community, uh, countless volunteer hours. To stay in touch with the development, Hitchcock brought his two daughters to pave. His oldest, Stacy, says she's happy to volunteer for such a meaningful project. It's built by the community for the community, and that's a really cool thing. Reporting from downtown Naperville, Elite Sabizios, Naperville Community Television, Channel 17.